Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Angel from the Sentinel series. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, does it seem a little brighter? Um, I did replace my lamps, now I have LED lamps, so they're a lot, um, hopefully a lot more brighter and able to see the details better. Hopefully this improves everything. Enough of my little ramble. We'll go ahead and look at this figure. <laughs> so, um, it is kind of yellowing. It's a little older. Uh, you can tell the plastic inside is yellowing. But anyway, so it shows uh, it's in the old Toy Biz clamshell. It's the uh, non-variant red one. Um, and you can see the Toy Biz flight stand. It comes with the left leg of the Sentinel. It says 36 points of articulation. Also comes with a comic book. We'll go from the back. It gives a little bio of Angel along with his uh, power stats. And it goes and shows the rest of the figures in the Sentinel wave, along with, there it shows the Blue Angel right there, and it shows the X-Factor suit for Cyclops. Alright, so go ahead and get this guy cut open. Alright, All right, so here's Angel out of the package in this sweet pose, right? <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and look at the real, real quick, go ahead and show you guys the little comic book comes with. This has an older X-Men comic. Look at Magneto, check him out. Alright, and then... Go ahead and comes with the left sentinel leg. It's one of the more uh, easier parts to find. That's cool because this one's already, you can tell this one's a lot painted a lot different than some of the other ones I already have. But anyway, so it comes with the left sentinel leg. We'll go ahead and look at the figure. It also comes with the, uh, as I mess up the little cloth background, keep that straight. There we go. Comes with the old, you know, Toy Biz flight stands. His wings are very heavy, so they tend to make this thing kind of become loose, but I'll go ahead and put that aside just to keep that out of the way. We'll go ahead and check out Angel standing up. I don't, his wings are definitely heavy, so I'll just hold them up. See the front, the back, I thought there's a little warp from the package. But anyway, I'll just show you real quick. So they just kind of slide on. They have a little slot right there. Um, this one's a lot easier. The other ones I've had in the past, these have been a pain in the butt, but these are nice. All right, we'll go and check out the details. All right, so please guys again, um, let me know with the new lighting uh, if it looks a lot better than the past videos. Like if you can see things a lot more clear. All right, so look at the details. Uh, I think it's actually got a really good head sculpt. I like how the mask part of the hood part is sculpted on. You can see his blue eyes, good flesh tone. I really like the paint detail on his hair. You can kind of see it's got some wash over it to give it more with that texture so you can give it that more um, kind of a dirty blonde hair. See his blue eyes, nice uh, flesh tone of the lips. And you can see a little bit of smudging or a mark right there on the chest. It's got like a little halo on his chest, it looks like. Um, but overall, I mean, it's a clean paint job. It's just a, a kind of a burgundy red with, you can see kind of the black spray there along on the rib, you know, side areas. I'm going with, you can see his little ear. I think that looks cool. But otherwise, the lines are pretty straight. Um, there's some, you know, of course, that's always going to happen. It'll never be perfect. But one thing that's cool is you can see as you rotate in the arm joint, nothing turns red or anything. It always stays a white circle, which is good. You can see nice blue on the back, a little blue on the sides here. I think that looks really cool. And with the rest, you can see it's just that burgundy red along with that you know black spray there, white gloves. Um, more of that blue along his uh, groin area, also on his inner thighs, but more of that black spray along the burgundy. I don't know, it's got a nice little, just a little, it brings out that definition. You can see a little bit of lighter blue right there on his shins and on his feet, but again with that black spray, more on the legs. The wings look amazing. That's one thing that stands out with this figure, are these wings. Really nice sculpt of the feathers. They look like real feathers. If you look at them close enough. They really do, they look really nice. I really like all the sculpted detail. I love the just the way they're painted. I think see it's really it's nice it's still pliable, but it's a nice firm plastic. But I like the yellow with the black and the white and just kind of the way they're layered. I think that looks really nice. Well done. Go around the back so you guys can see the wings. Still I mean it looks great. Very cool. Along the back, you know, so you get some more. But at least on the back, not a big deal. You can see more of that blue along the middle, right there. But again, the wings look just awesome. Awesome, awesome. Definitely the, one of the highlights of the figure. All right, so I'll go ahead and go in the articulation. His head looks left and right, looks up that far, looks down. 
got an uh, armpit joint along with, you can see it's a slight armpit joint, you can see it up here a little more, along with the ball joints in the shoulders, move forward and out. So the um, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, rotation at the forearm, uh, wrist move down and back, also has a little hand clamp, close his hand. Uh, it's got a nice ab crunch, crunches that much forward, crunches that more back, so you can really get them in those you know flying poses, really cool. It's got a, a waist swivel, it's also got ball joints and legs, you can kick forward, you can kick to the side, it's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, it's got boot rotation, ankles move up, they move down, it's got a slight, yeah, he's got an ankle rocker, it's got toe articulation, and peggles the bottom of the feet. Alright, I'll show you guys how tall, oh, and the wings can flap. Yeah. Alright, alright, I'll show you guys how tall Angel is, and which is nice too, it's a nice clicky joint. I'll show you the other one that I have um, that came out of the package, not so nice and tight, but anyway. Alright, show you guys how tall he is. Alright, so I have him rusty against the back, just, just so you know, I'm not, I'm kind of cheating to keep him up, it's just those wings are so darn heavy. Um, he stands roughly right at just above, eh, right at six inches. But I mean, check out the wingspan. The wing makes him almost up ten inches. You kind of get it across. So across is almost, almost just about twelve inches if you count that feather. So it's got a great wingspan, great for you know hanging up on the on the ceiling. Definitely with those Toybius flight stands since they have uh, these tacks. You can you know tack it on the wall, get them flying. But anyways, making this video way too long, I think, for you guys. Um, show you guys the variant. So there's a blue angel. I really like the blue one. But see, as I was telling about the wing, this one did not come out uh, clicky tight. But here's the blue angel. So you guys kind of get a little comparison. I really just love that blue color. I think it looks great. And then I'll show you guys angel next to, why not, right? Archangel. Alright, so let's move Blue Angel out of here. There we go. So you can kind of see the difference. Definitely, you know, an update in compared to the Toy Viz body with the Archangel body. You know, it's really cool. But it's cool to have both of them because it's kind of like the trans you know, the evolution of Angel. And then one of one of my favorites. Can't not have the X Force Angel in this picture. But there you go, guys. I think this is a you know it's awesome little classic angel to have with your X-Men display. Um, I hope you guys <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching my review. Um, please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.